Hey everybody, welcome back for a Warframe tip video. Today we are going to take a look at some really good weapons for Warframe beginners. So Warframe beginners have a lot of things to look forward to. This means they also have a lot of stuff they need to try and get, and it can be a bit overwhelming. Here is a list of weapons you can get early in the game that will be able to pretty much help you through all of the star chart. So starting with your primary weapons, our first choice is the Bratton. The Bratton is a mastery rank zero weapon that you can pick up in the market for 25,000 credits. With its high fire rate, this is a very good automatic weapon to start with for your primary. Next up, we have the Latron. The Latron is also a mastery rank zero weapon, which you can pick up the blueprint in the market for 20,000 credits. Where the Bratton was more of a machine gun weapon, the Latron is a rifle. This makes the Latron a very good starting weapon for you to get used to focusing your shots with more care. One of the starting weapons you can choose is the MK1 Paris. So what kind of list would this be if I did not include the Paris itself? The Paris is a Mastery Rank 0 bow that you can pick up the blueprint for 20,000 credits in the market. The Paris and its better component Paris Prime are puncture based weapons and of course silent fire weapons. But the Paris is not the only bow you can start with. The Serenos is also another very good beginner bow weapon. Just like the Paris, the Serenos is mastery rank 0 and you can purchase the blueprint in the market for 20,000 credits. Where the Paris is a puncture weapon, the Serenos is an impact based weapon. And of course later on you can upgrade to the Rakta Serenos with the Syndicate weapons or get the Serenos Prom. Another really popular rifle is the Karak. The Carrick is Mastery Rank 0 requirements and you can pick up the blueprint in the market for 30,000 credits. As a beginner player, you may find this a little bit more difficult to build because of the requirements for 2 Neurodes in it. Now we have one more Mastery Rank 0 primary weapon I would like to mention, and that is the Gracada. You can pick up the blueprint for it in the market for 15,000 credits. With the high fire rate and large clip size, the Gracada is very good for beginner players who don't want to worry about focusing too much with a rifle. As with the Carrot, you will need two Neuros to build the Gracada. Now all of those primary weapons were Mastery Rank 0, and once you get through a few of them, you should be able to reach at least Mastery Rank 2. At Mastery Rank 2, you will be able to access the Boltor, which you can pick up the blueprint for 15,000 credits in the market. The Boltor and its two variants, Telos Boltor and Boltor Prom, will serve very well into late game. The Boltor will fire heavy bolts that can pin enemies to walls, making it very entertaining as well as effective. As with the last two weapons, you will also need two Neuros to build the Boltor. Once you reach Mastery Rank 4, you should have some skill in the game, but I will still say you are a bit of a beginner because you are going to be limited on your mod selection and so forth. Once you have reached Mastery Rank 4, however, you will now have access to the Heck, which you can get the blueprint for 25,000 credits in the market. The Heck is a very powerful shotgun and its better variant, the Vacor Heck, serve you well far into the late game. By the time you reach Master Rank 4, hopefully you should be able to pick up the 5 Neuros you will need to build it. But the Heck is not the only shotgun you can pick up once you hit Master Rank 4. You can also pick up the Tigris, or the Tigris, however you want to say it. Where the Heck, you can fire again and again like any standard weapon, the Tigris will actually fire 2 shots in rapid succession unless you hold down the trigger. The Tigris and its variants Sancti Tigris and Tigris Prime, when modded well, can deal very high amounts of damage. You can pick up the Tigris Blueprint in the market for 40,000 credits. Now that we've covered our primary weapons, let's move on to the secondary weapons. The first secondary weapon I want to point out is the Bolto. The Bolto is a Mastery Rank 0 weapon that you can pick up the Blueprint in the market for 15,000 credits. The one drawback for this weapon is it will require another weapon called the Leto to build. Fortunately, the Leto is easy to pick up at only 10,000 credits. So your best bet is to first pick up the Leto, max it out to level 30, and then use it to build your Bolto. If you end up liking the Bolto, then you will probably like being able to use two of them. That is exactly what you get when you build the Ak Bolto, which is another Mastery Rank 0 weapon that you can pick up the blueprint for 15,000 credits in the market. Of course, to build the Ak Bolto and use two Boltos at the same time, you will have to build two Boltos. 
This means buying two Lados, building two Boltos, and then building the Act Bolto, which will give you a total cost of 135,000 credits. Our next weapon is the Spira, which is a Mastery Rank 1 stealth weapon. You can pick up its blueprint for 20,000 credits in the market, and this weapon will serve you well if you like a stealthy type approach to your gameplay rather than running in with guns blazing. Our next weapon, the Sonicor, is extremely popular in Warframe. It is a Mastery Rank 2 weapon and you can pick up its blueprint for 20,000 credits in the market. The Sonicor blasts its targets with a wave of sonic energy which causes a very nice ragdolling effect. The Sonicor may be a little difficult for you to build at Mastery Rank 2 because it does require two Argon Crystals. If you do not have the Argon Crystals you need, simply hit that recruiting tab and ask to join a Void mission. And the last secondary weapon we're going to look at today is the Lex. The Lex is a Mastery Rank 3 weapon that you can pick up straight out of the market for 50,000 credits. The Lex and its Prime variant is a very popular pistol for late game players. It is extremely powerful and accurate and makes you feel like you might be Dirty Harry when you use it. Moving on to our melee weapons, the first one we're going to look at is the Amphis. The Amphis is a Mastery Rank 0 staff weapon and you can pick up its blueprint for 15,000 credits in the market. Many players like the Amphis because it has an electric shock ability with some of the attacks. Even though it is Mastery Rank 0, it does require two Neuros to build. I used the Amphis very early off and it served me well, though later on I found better weapons and ended up selling it. Next up we have the Obets, which is basically like adding brass knuckles to your hands and feet. The Obets is Mastery Rank 0 and you can pick up the blueprint in the market for 15,000 credits. While I am not a fan of this type of weapon because it does require you to be right up in your enemy's face, the Obets is very popular among players due to its high crit chance and attack speed. It also has the added bonus that its slam attack deals electricity damage. Whether you stick with the Obets or you end up getting the Prisma Obets from the trader at some point, it will serve you well, especially if you like fist fighting style weapons. If you're like me, however, you probably like to keep your enemies at a good distance. The Adorats is a Mastery Rank 2 whip that does just that. You can pick up its blueprint for 20,000 credits in the market and it will require two Argon Crystals to build. The Adorax is a bladed whip that I still use actively at times because of its high crit chance and damage. Our next Mastery Rank 2 weapon is the Boltace. You can pick up its blueprint on the market for 20,000 credits. The Boltace and its variant, the Telos Boltace, are very popular among players, especially those who prefer to just slide around attacking enemies that way. And of course, who wouldn't like a weapon that looks this awesome? And the last weapon we're going to take a look at is the Orthos. The Orthos is a Mastery Rank 2 requirement and you can pick up the blueprint for 20,000 credits in the market. The Orthos and the Orthos Prom are extremely popular weapons because of their reach. Whether you use the Orthos or the Orthos Prime, it will last you into late game. The Orthos Prom is one of my favorite weapons to use and I use it on a regular basis. There are numerous weapons out there other than these that you can of course use as a beginner, but I wanted to focus on the ones that will give you the best bang for your buck and last you longest throughout the star chart. Some of these weapons I listed simply because they are very popular and many players use them, and others I listed because they are my personal preference. If you feel I've missed a weapon that would be really good to add to this list, or a new weapon has been added since this video gets uploaded, be sure to leave it in a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Also make sure you hit subscribe and tick that notification bell if you have not done so already. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this list of weapons. Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with any of them? Or is there one, as I said, that you think should have been included? Thanks for watching everyone. I am your host, Mr. Spicy as always. Be sure to keep it spicy this week and I will see you in the next video.